all right? Here we're looking at the diagram which shows neurons, all right? Now, neurons are nerve cells, okay? Lots of neurons make one nerve. And if we look at these, I mean, this here, you should know, is a sensory neuron. And this will be a motor neuron. But this is also a motor neuron. And this is a sensory neuron. Now remember, your sensory neurons work, this would be where your receptor is. Okay, and the impulse the receptor converts the stimulus to an impulse from a sense organ and it then transmits along the unicellular structure. This is unicellular. It's a unicellular um, cell and it then passes through to the dendrites and then you'll have a connector neuron attached here. Uh, or it, it, will, it will then pass the impulse to the connector neuron. Okay, the same will apply to this one. Then here you've got your motor neuron. In the motor neuron, here are your dendrites. Okay, those are your dendrites there as well. Okay, this is multicellular. Okay, and the impulse travels from the cell uh, uh, um, here, and it then moves down to this bottom, and this is where the effector will be. Okay, so what is different? Why would they put two motor neurons and two sensory neurons? Well, this sensory neuron and this motor neuron contain this extra layer here. And those extra layers are called myelin sheaths. So, this sensory neuron and this motor neuron have myelin sheaths around the axon. Okay? And the same here. This unicellular, uh, at least sensory neuron, and this um, motor neuron have no myelin sheath. So clearly the questions are going to have something to do with that. So let's see. They want to know the numbers 1, 2, 3, or 4 of the two neurons that transport impulses from a receptor to the central nervous system. It is always going to be your sensory neurons. So it will be one and four. Easy peasy two marks. We'll have faster transmission of impulses. What is the main function of the myelin sheath? To increase the rate at which impulses are transferred, so it will be number one and number three. Why? They both contain myelin sheaths. So, one and three. Are damaged if a person can feel the stimulus, which means the sensory neurons are working, but is unable to react, which means the effect is not going to get the message. That means it will be two and three, your motor neurons will be damaged. There you go, guys. Easy peasy, six marks. So before we start with section B, um, I think let's take a quick ad break. And when we come back, we'll start with section B, question two. <laughs> 